So here we are at the Intel Rig Challenge. I am coming to you guys live from this event, and we've already announced the winners here. So the winners were number one, NCIX. They came in with their PC, and a feature that featured two GTX 1080s and a 6950 X. We'll get another. There's Ed from TechSource, absolute baller too. And we got number two. We're going Origin there. Origin PC. They came in second place, and then third place we had Digital Storm. So to be honest, every PC here was an absolute winner. I mean, they're just decked out to the max. So anyway, from here on, I'm going to do an interview from all the people who made these PCs, tell you guys a little bit about the specs and what inspired the builds. Also, as well, we've got the winners of the PCs, which I'll quickly announce for you guys. So for the Velocity Micro PC, we had Zayabos Malfaz. He won that. And then for the Main Gear PC, we had Dragon Ops Z. And then for the Cyber Power PC, we had Earl. And then for the Ava Direct PC, we had Casvav. And then for the Digital Storm PC, the winner was Jarafarul. And then for the Origin PC, they had Mr. D&D 14. And then lastly, for the NCIX PC, they had the Legend Nova. So I'll put all these names in the description below for you guys and also the winners. So anyway, let's get on with these interviews. So here we are at the Origin booth. I am joined by John. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Uh, this I noticed this amazing PC behind me here. This is a full-sized ATX tower case, yeah? Yes, yeah. It's our own custom design case. Uh, it's our, our pride and joy. I see. And what, uh, what are we talking with the specs here on this bad boy? Uh, so we actually have two systems and one on this system. Uh, you have the gaming side for full HD gaming, no compromise, latency, nothing. And on the other side, we actually have a streaming system for all full HD capture. Yeah, so that's from the, the Elgato K HD capture cards, yeah? On the uh, streaming side, there's dual uh, HD60 Pro Elgatos uh, for full HD capture on the game as well as full HD capture for the webcam. Uh, you have a 6700K running on the uh, Maximus 8 Gene motherboard, 16 gigabytes of 2666 uh, Origin PC branded memory uh, powered by HyperX. And on the uh, gaming side, you actually have a uh, 6950X on a... Asus Fi, uh, Rampage 5 Extreme motherboard. You have 32 gigabytes of 2666 megahertz memory, also powered by uh, HyperX. You have uh, dual 1080s and SLI, and uh, actually both sides have uh, Intel SSDs. One has the uh, 730 series, and the other one's the Intel 750 400 gigabyte uh, PCIe uh, NVMe hard drive. So we're pretty much fitting two PCs in one case here, and one's dedicated to the streaming side of things, the other's just dedicated to obliterating everything else. Yes, absolutely. So that's pretty awesome from Origin PC. They've done a great job here. I hope you guys win, and all the best. See you next time. So we are back now at the Cyber Power PC spot in town here on the Intel Rig Challenge, and I'm joined by Nam. How are you doing, man? You're good. Yeah, and so what is this here? We have like a pretty much a transformer style PC in the background here. I am just completely blown away by this thing. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, this is our Lux series of computers. Basically, it's one of our series where you can customize anything, hard uh, liquid cooling, um, the max, the extreme, anything you want, we can build it from scratch. Well, I can see here, like we got the uh, on the B-roll, we had this thing just transforming before. That was incredible. I've never seen something like that come out of a PC before. Uh, and what are we talking about specs-wise on this PC? This one's got the Intel i7 core extreme processor, the 6950X. And it's also got two GTX 1080s, as well as a 750D uh, PCIe hard drive. Wow, so we're talking a 10 core in this thing. We're also talking two GTX 1080s. I mean... This thing will not just play games, fellas. It will grab the game, twist it upside down, rip it apart, and give you amazing experience. Yep, totally. <laughs> I mean, this is the most extreme you can get. It's got the top-notch hardware that you could find in the market today. And uh, I see that the GPUs are running on water blocks as well. So what's the max temps? You, have you benchmarked this thing yet? Oh, yeah, we have. I mean, on average, we're getting around like 30 degrees. That's on load. Yeah, it's pretty low. And right now you can tell, like, it's just running really slowly. You can even touch the graphics cards. They're not hot. And they're playing over there, um, Doom 3, on, ex on epic settings, no problems. Yeah, I did touch it. It's, it's just barely even warm. That's incredible. Good job. I hope you guys win the tournament. And uh, thanks for coming on, Nam. Any uh, things you want to say to the viewers out there? Nope, uh, other than uh, check out CyberPC if you want the best computers out there. Well, yeah, I think it's not just looks. We've obviously got the performance to go with that as well. Thank you. So here I am with the Main Gear PC, and I'm joined by Ron. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? How was your packs? 
really good so far, man, having an absolutely amazing time. But I noticed this PC just stood out. Absolutely <laughs> gorgeous PC from Main Gear here. I'm surprised that you guys didn't win. I mean, even though I'm in the top three, I was a little bit disappointed. I mean, this is one of my personal favorite of the whole Intel rig oh, challenge. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Thank you for that. <laughs> Do you want to talk a little bit about this PC and what inspired it, what's in this thing, and how, how it performs as well, not just the looks? Yeah, so from a, a spec standpoint, it's got a 6950X overclocked 10 core processor, a single 1080, an Intel 750 NVMe SSD, uh, 32 gigs of Kingston memory. But really, what sets it apart is our handcrafted uh, hardline liquid cooling. So, a um, system like this literally takes, I think, 16 to 18 hours to put together. Uh, there's over 60 fittings individually in the system. It's a, a shatter resistant PTG hard tubing. What we tried to do uh, with this build was take the enthusiast class system that you see on like a, a forum where somebody spends like six months building a PC uh, and we wanted to make that something that somebody could buy. So this has that amazing attention to detail. You'll notice even inside, see the cable combs? We cut those in house, so we laser cut them ourselves. And the reason we do that is so we can color match the system. So we could like, for example, do white cables and red cable combs. Uh, even like the, the blocks that we use, so we use all EK for the water cooling. Uh, we use premium copper core radiators. So it's all that little attention to detail. I wish you could see the back. There's actually a separate reservoir and pump in the back of the system. We do that for redundancy. So if one fails, you're not screwed. Wow, so there you go, guys. They got backup gear in case something fails. And in a water cooling build, if you have something fail, especially with a 10 core processor, especially with some expensive parts in there, the only thing you want to lose is the pump. So that's a great thing that they got a backup system in there. That's actually a really good idea. I noticed as well, just the attention to detail, the actual cables themselves are so finely combed as well. Is that something you guys take pride in as well, just the final spec? What we're known for in the industry is that quality. Um, one of the really things that I love is if you go on our Facebook page, um, every build is a customer system. We don't take all these beauty shots that we like perfect and then, then we ship somebody something different. We make sure everything is in its place. And you know, you're paying a premium to get a boutique system. Honestly, we're more expensive than building it yourself, but we want that to be worth it. Something like this would take a lot of time for the average people to... I couldn't even build something like this myself, honestly. It's our our, our uh, product developer, Sean, and our builders are amazing. I'm always very impressed with the work that they do. Something like this is just on another level. The attention to detail is insane. And also, what are we talking about the overclocks and the temperatures? Do you have any word on that? So, it's going to run very cool. I mean, you're never going over 60 degrees. Uh, 6950X, you're getting probably roughly like 4.5 4. gigahertz. You're limited by the hardware, not by what we're cooling. Yeah. What's more important is that it's 100% silent. So we're using a Corsair power supply that actually spins down and you don't hear when it's on. And then uh, the, the fans, we're using such big radiators and we're using high static pressure fans that they barely spin. And so you, you can't hear it when it's not doing anything. And when it's gaming, you can barely hear it. There we go, guys. They've also got the noise down there on the D-Lo. They've also got the temps, the looks as well. Looks are phenomenal on this PC. So thanks for coming out, Ron, and thanks for making the PC. The viewers, I'm sure, will love it just like me. I'm looking forward to seeing more PCs out of you guys. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. Okay. So here I am joined by Tamer from Velocity Micro. How are you, man? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Yeah, really good. PAX is awesome as always. Well, I don't know because I've never been here. This is my first time. But I'm seeing the Velocity Micro PC in the background here. What inspired this and what's in this thing as well? So, you know, our company is known for doing high-end custom gaming computers, servers, that sort of thing. And we always are known for putting kind of a polished, refined touch on all of our PCs. So we like to introduce, you know, a liquid cooling that's a little bit more elegant, you know, maybe more for a classier type of touch for a lot of people that have it on their desktop or anything, that sort of thing. As far as what's inside this computer, we've got the Intel Extreme 6950X. Uh, it's actually overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz at a base clock at 3 gigahertz. We also so, uh, sorry, on that 4.5, what are we talking with the temperatures there? So we're actually getting about 19 degrees Celsius idling. Uh, after, you know, under full load, anywhere from 45 to 50 degrees under full load. So there we go, water cooling 4.5 gigahertz on a 10 core at 45 to 50 degrees. That's damn impressive. Yeah, absolutely. We got two GPUs, we got two dual 1080s here with custom blocks for liquid cooling going right into them as well. 
Um, we also got the Intel Extreme one, uh, 750 Series 1.2 terabyte solid state as well. So very, very solid specs in there. This thing can handle anything you throw at it. Now, also on the GPUs, what are we talking with the temperatures and overclocks on that? Temperatures on those, we've got them overclocked by about 200 megahertz on each one. So each one's running probably around 22, 2300. Um, temperatures you probably get anywhere from 35 to 40 under load. Which is, you know, on, on air they're typically around 75 to 80, so it's so pretty good. Thank you, for, thank you guys. If you want to check out Velocity Micro 2, I'll put a description, a link in the description for you guys. And thank you, Tamer, for coming on. And if you guys are liking this event, then be sure to check out the next uh, Velocity Micro PC that's coming your way. Thank you very much. All right, so I'm here at Digital Storm, and I'm joined by Robert. How are you, man? Great, great. I'm doing wonderful. Now, this uh, massive PC with just decked out specs caught my eye, and I definitely love what you guys are doing here. Can you tell us a little bit more about this PC? Sure thing. Oh, we're running two GTX 1080s in SLI. We have an Intel i7-6950X. Uh, we can push that to over 4 gigahertz. We have our Aventum 3 chassis. So this is all custom engineered in-house. We have a local metal shop to us in Fremont build these. And this is something that any customer can order, like, now. So it's not just one off for this show. This is something that anyone could order at any time. Damn, it definitely looks good. That huge window on the sides there. Not only the front, but the rear side as well. I think, that, is that going to be a new trend coming into the PC cases, you think? I'm not entirely sure. I sure hope it is, though, because, I mean, you've got all this beautiful wiring and beautiful tech, and you know, it'd be a shame if you couldn't show it off. Well, uh, definitely with me, when I build a PC, the cable management's horrible, so I kind of like that uh, no look on the back. <laughs> but definitely with the uh, cable management here, I'm very impressed with that. The tubing as well, though, what is that? Is that the glass tubing? Uh, it's a plastic tubing, or acrylic tubing, so um, you know, it's something that takes definitely a lot of time, a lot of time to work on. And, um, but yeah, it looks great, very clean. Yeah, I definitely must agree. Uh, what are we talking about the temperatures there on the GPUs and the CPU? I don't have any temperatures right now. Uh, running on the system, but it's probably not very much more than ambient room temperature. You got so much liquid cooling. Even when the systems are on load, you can put your hands across these fans here. And like the true test is like everything's just super cool. Very quiet, very cool. Loving what you guys are doing at Digital Storm. Yeah. Love doing it, so. <laughs> uh, not too much. Just come by, come by our website, check it out. You know, we're always happy to talk to people and um, yeah, build people their dream rig. Yeah. And congratulations to the winner of this PC too. And I'll catch you guys around. So I'm here at the Ava Direct uh, PC here. No one here is to be found, so I can't do an interview for this PC, though I can talk a little bit about it. We've got tempered glass at the back of this PC, and they've also got two vertically mounted GTX 1080s. So actually a very interesting design. I actually really like this PC after looking at it pretty close up. I don't know any word on the temps. I haven't interviewed anyone here. But again, it's got that 6950X. All the PCs do. So those 10 cores are in there absolutely decked to the rim and I think whoever won one of these PCs is definitely going to be very happy at this point in time. So I'm joined here by Charlie from NCIX. Now these guys actually won the Intel Rig Challenge so very nice build we've got in the background here. Can you tell us a little bit about the specs and what inspired it? Yeah absolutely. So the system is called the Avalanche so what inspired it is we wanted to create something that was unstoppable so we wanted to kind of stick with the white theme. Uh, if you take a look inside, you'll see a lot of blue tubing, kind of wa white and blue to symbolize kind of the snow, the water kind of theme. Um, the specs are built with a 6950X Intel uh, overclock processor, uh, two GTX 1080s in SLI, and an Intel 750 series one terabyte SSD, and all of them are water cooled with our uh, NCX custom turbo hydro loop. Yeah, so yeah, tell us a little bit about the temperatures and the overclocks as well. What uh, kind of temperatures were you getting on load in uh, whatever stress test or games? Yeah, so we've been uh, we've been able to overclock it up to about 4.8, 4.9 gigahertz. Yeah, yeah. So it's been it's been uh, it's been pretty phenomenal. Um, really hard to put it under load under regular gaming. Um, temperature gradient has been steady. I don't think we've ever surpassed up to about 35, 36. Um, so it's it's very steady. It's right now they're not even. Uh, it's, it's probably not even going up. Um, past like 50% performance running uh, Rainbow on uh, Ultra right now. So, yeah. what, about, yeah. uh, what about the GPU overclocks and temperatures there? The GPU overclocks and temperatures are um, also we did we did uh, we put them in SLI and we also test them without SLI because a lot of uh, a lot of our rendering work is done without SLI, um, and we've been able to I think the GTX 1080s. Um, we've been we can actually I can I can check for you on the uh, on our website, but we've been able to hit about. 30, 40 percent additional performance, um, and we had to uh, put in the AX. Our first try actually blew out our power. 
in our in our facility. Yeah, so we had to swap swap out the power supply um, just in case it breaks again. So, <laughs> so damn those high currents going through that thing. This thing couldn't handle it initially, but it looks like you it looks like it's running perfectly fine there. You got the custom yeah. branding on what power supply is that? On which one? Oh, the Corsair. It's the AX. Uh, we basically AX twelve hundred. AX 1500. Oh, 1500. So that's a lot of amps, like 120 something amps going. Yeah, about, about 120. <laughs> Damn. So there we go. We got it from NCIX. Congratulations, Charlie, on winning the competition. And definitely some hot PCs coming out. I never really knew NCIX to be a custom PC builder, though. Is that something that's recent out of you guys? Or have you guys always been building like full on custom PCs with water cooling all max to the rim? We've been focused on it recently. Um, I think uh, we've done a lot of pre-builds in the past, but right now we're really getting into the gaming and custom and really high-end builds. So you can check out our website online, and we have a lot of different selections, and uh, custom hard tubing, soft tubing options are all available as well. All right, well, thanks for the interview, and I hope, uh, wish you all the best with the uh, new builds to come. So. So now we're just wrapping up the event here at the Intel Rig Challenge. It's been an awesome time here. The PCs are absolutely off the chain. These things are just expensive. They're decked out. They run completely well. I mean, I was really interested in that dual PC, one on the left side, one on the right side, with both the glassing showcasing both those PCs. That was actually really cool. PC behind me here, the Transformer, that was really awesome as well. And of course, the main gear simplicity, but awesome cosmetics there. Those three PCs, in my opinion, were my favorite PCs. Let me know in the description below, what were your three favorite PCs of this competition? And if so, why and why not? So look forward to your comments in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's it for now. And I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Jacked out to the max. Thanks, brother, for uh, moving my tripod. Really appreciate it, man. Oh, Edgar. Oh, Edgar.